Hello, my name's Ed, and this is my contribution to Tag Team Point of View. A uh, couple of, I should say, a series of response, debate, uh, dialogue, discussion videos. I'm doing with my buddy uh, Phil, who is PM uh, Night 12 here on YouTube. Basically, he'll do a video, and then I'll do a response video. And the first uh, subject we're going to tackle is... Uh, the Batman Incorporated series so far. Um, there's been seven issues, um, and basically the premise is uh, kind of Batman going around the world recruiting a different other Batman from other uh, countries. Um, you know, and everybody's got a different background, a different skill set, and so on and so forth. And you get to uh, you go along with Batman, and you get to meet the different. Uh, characters from you know these different exotic locales um, like Phil uh, I was a little skeptical at first about the premise because I thought you know you know does this even make any sort of sense you know so I actually did skip like the first two issues or whatever um, and, but then after like reading various reviews and, and seeing what other people thought I bought issue three on a on a lark you know just for the hell of it and, you know, I didn't think it was bad. I didn't think it was a bad comic book at all. And then I bought issue four, and I actually pretty, li uh, I liked it, you know. And so I went back and got the other ones, and, you know, um, you know, I've been following along since. There's, so far, there's been seven issues. Uh, the writing, of course, is by Grant Morrison, and the art in some of the issues is Yannick Paquette, and a few others are uh, Chris Burnham. Um, I know Phil uh, wasn't that impressed with Yannick Paquette's art. Uh, myself, I don't have a problem with it. I thought it's pretty solid art. I do agree with them about Chris Burnham kind of having that kind of Frank Quietly feel to it. But I don't think so much that it, it doesn't seem like an imitation of Frank Quietly. And I, I think it's quite good as well. I think where we differ is I'm actually having a lot of fun with the series so far. Um... It's a kind of different Batman that we've been used to. Uh, it's very much solidly, squarely uh, Batman as a superhero. It's all about uh, good guys, bad guys, villains, secret hideouts, gadgets, way out ideas, and things like that. Um, I like the fact that it's really fast-paced. Um, most of the story arcs so far are either one-issue or two-issue stories. Uh, the stories are all fast paced there's not a lot of um decompression there's not a lot of filler uh the stories read as either one and done stories or two part stories so far and everything moves at a quick pace which i really like um i think as far as the new characters concerned um i really don't think i mean i understand what phil says like you know uh you know you really don't care that much about the characters but I think what, what I take from it, I'll say what I take from it is I take from it the whole idea of we're going along with Bruce as he's gathering his army and everybody has a different background everybody has a different outlook, everybody has a different skill set and it's more about these guys are lieutenants in his army, you know what I mean I really don't think that they'll really be using too many of these characters after Grant Morrison finishes telling his stories. There might be a one-shot here or a spin-off there, but I, I really doubt five years from now you're going to see a series about, you know, the Man of Bats. I know with the whole DC relaunch, they're doing a uh, Batwing or whatever, but I'll be honest, I'll be really surprised if that comic book lasts more than six or seven issues or whatever, you know what I mean? I think the real excitement, or at least for me, is um, just seeing following story build in these little increments to the big climax that we all know is coming, you know. Uh, it seems they've dropped hints here and there about the big threat or the big conspiracy being the Leviathan, you know, as we find out more and more about what they are and who they are and what they're about and then how Batman's, uh, you know, Bat Army, if you will, uh, has to face or dismantle or deal with that threat. And so far for me, it's been interesting, you know. Like I said, when it first came out, I thought, oh, come on now. But, um, 
but right now I'm I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Uh, like I said, it looks like this is just one story that Grant wants to tell with Batman. I don't think Batman Incorporated is going to last more than you know whatever twelve issues, maybe twenty four. After that, you know, it'll be on to the next thing. But so far, uh, I'm enjoying it. Okay, so that's my t- take. Uh, let me, uh, you know, let me know what you think. Let uh, Phil know what you think. I'll put the link to uh, uh, his video at the bottom in the description of mine. And um, that's it. Thanks a lot. Thank you for listening. Hey, if you want to give us more topics or whatever you want us to talk about, you know, feel free. Thanks, and you guys have a good one.